What is up guys, it's Van Thoreau, we're here with another video. Today Brawlhalla just posted like a mini document about their 5 years anniversary and like the startings of their company BMG and I've heard super good things about it. I saw like a boomy tweet about it, I saw like a bunch of people talking about how cool this video is, so I'm super excited to see it and let's just, let's just get into it, let's get into it. Honestly, one of my fondest memories is kind of a simple one. My first day on the job, I arrived at Matt's house and his, at the time, four-year-old son, Hank, was the one who greeted me on my first day. So that was the doorman. And I'll never forget that. Aww. Because something about that one moment made me feel like I was a part of something already kind of familial. And it was, it was good, it made an impression. Uh, my, uh, my son, who was about four years old at the time, thought that he was a producer and he would come downstairs and he would say are you guys done making brahalla yet and i'm like nope not yet and that's pretty much what he thought a producer did <laughs> that was fun and then he'd get himself a coke and then he'd leave these are the days of the, the basement look at this basement the basement was the upgrade look, look at this basement this is where brahalla started like being such a, like a veteran player looking at this this is like crazy like, this is crazy to me like dude this is like how many like five dudes in a basement just like, making this that's that's amazing because we started in an even smaller room with just like a, a window unit ac thing some fun things i mean it's a basement right it's it's a basement in suburban georgia right there are going to be bugs there were there was life down there uh mainly house centipedes and yes one very small, years very 11 small years house scorpion. uh i mean i don't know i was embarrassed it was my house right <laughs> i just hear dolce ah! you know and, and then we're all looking around like see who like who broke in don't put the youth in the experiment like <laughs> yeah imagine having people over and then for the first time ever like there's a scorpion there while he was working and you know i don't remember how we all saved the day but we all did i mean we all got around there and like start kicking the thing like you know the, the printer and uh, office space or something i mean honestly that scorpion was the first scorpion i'd ever seen uh one thing i remember <laughs> what very vividly is... imagine like that's the first time you've ever seen a scorpion too like what are the odds you invite people over and then there's a freaking scorpion and you've never seen a scorpion oh my that's so funny actually this how we landed on a name Brawlhalla. Uh, sounds obvious, right? You're like, oh, it's a pun, just put it together and ship it. Uh, but it actually took us, I want to say, upwards of five months to name this game. And wow, five we months. done this huge process of everyone putting in hundreds and hundreds of names. We had elimination rounds and everything. It's kind of like the way we run a tournament now, but for just names. All kinds of wacky names. Some of them were really fun. Some of them were dreadful, I suppose. <laughs> I remember that uh, people would have names, and we'd have names that they knew were bad. They knew they were bad names, but they thought that they were better than any of the bad names we, we had in the list, and so they would keep coming up. And we had everything submitted under the sun, and first Monday of every week, those names would be printed out on these little teeny strips of paper, and we would put them on a table, and the entire company would gather around this rectangular table full of names, and we would vote them off the island. And then when we, f every time we settled on one, or something would land at the top, it, we'd always be like, only partially satisfied, and then a lot of members would be dissatisfied, like, ah, I didn't like that one. Somebody wanted to call the game Fracas, which, if you even think about it for a second, is an awful name. What? Fracas? Like, just looking back, like, Brahalla is such a perfect name for this game. Like, honestly, I'm so glad they landed on this. Because, like, imagine if this game was called Fracas. Like, bruh. Brahalla is, like, perfect for this. Like, honestly, no wonder it took five months. Like, that's amazing, honestly. Not least of which because no one would know how to pronounce it and we would do round two and round three and round four and i kid you not we would spend an hour or two every monday doing this and we did this for weeks for months and still couldn't land on anything you know at the time that person was right that was probably better than rumble rumble ring out or arena blitz or or any of the other goofy names we had it's surprising it's surprising how much just time we spent trying to figure out what we we're going to call this thing and then in the 11th hour 
I get a text from Lincoln, and he said, Matt has a name. Just what do you think of Brawlhalla? And I remember I was completing my transaction at this red box in this Walmart, and the words Brawlhalla popped up. And all of the other names were just nonsensical at that point. None of them made sense. It had to be that name. Like, that was the name. And I don't like to admit this, but my very first reaction to it was like, I just texted back, I don't know, I was just being impulsive. I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't think I like it that much. And he was very patient with me, and he said, just, just think for a moment and say it out loud a few times. Just sit in silence and say it out loud a few times, and then get back to me. And I did exactly that. I was like, Brawlhalla. 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 Yeah. And I texted back. I was like, you know what? No, you're right. That's actually really good. That's really, really good. Come that weekend, that was it. That was the name we registered, and that was what we rolled with. And it's been puns on puns ever since. It's important to know how to celebrate. And you have to celebrate your milestones. They can be big ones. Like getting out on a getting out on a new console, uh, they could be little ones like just closing out a closing out a feature that you've been working on for for a week or so. But uh, historically, the way to do that at Blue Mammoth is uh, drumstick and cookie cake. And uh, that became this crazy driver for me. Like it, it was it was the stupidest thing, but I got fired up about it all the time. I don't know. I feel like that's a lot about Nick, because Nick is a creature of enthusiasm. <laughs> Whenever we get drumsticks, I'm happy because it's happening. Yo, this guy, Dave, is such a good storyteller. Like, I'm not even lying. This guy's so good at, like, telling stories and, like, intricate and his freaking emotions. Like, it, it just gets you in the story so much. Lights up. It just makes my day. So if ever we hit a milestone, I'm like, drumsticks! But I'm not really thinking about my experience with drumsticks. If, if you tell Nick that something is a tradition, he will take it and he will own it and he will say yes that is now a tradition and the next time around he will say where's my cookie cake <laughs> it's gotten cookie cake now, like anytime anything minuscule happens i'll like look up and be like matt cookie cake every one of those achievements like early on were such a big deal and we used to have these like we'd have it was like every few months or so we'd have a cookie cake i don't even like cookie cake Cookie cake's just a big cookie. <laughs> Ice cream and cookie cake? Like the last time I had this combo wombo was like when I was in like middle school. Okay, I don't actually care about drumsticks that much. Cookie cake's great, that's great. I'm glad we're doing that. Cake sized, it's not even in the shape of cookie. It's, it's just a cookie, <laughs> but really, really big. Like a, it's more like cookie pizza. Cookie cake's pretty good, man. <laughs> but uh, you can't, you can't mess with tradition. Cookie cake, please. <laughs> we all made it to work uh, close to on time. Cookie cake. But now here we are. So like every time we have some sort of big accomplishment, that's the way to celebrate. You got to bring out the drumstick ice creams. You got to bring out the cookie cake. Well, it's almost like a Pavlovian thing. I see cookie cake and I get happy. We must have done something good. Uh, yeah, that's always been the, the carrot at the end of the stick or whatever, however that metaphor works. Ours is a cookie cake. I always wished it was cake with cookies. BMT's fueled by that. <laughs> Just sugar. And, uh, it, you know, it's always fun. You gotta have at least one of those. You gotta have at least one. And preferably you have both. And if it's even better, you make sure it's nice and advanced and you're ready for it and you get something really fancy put on the cookie cake, that's the best one. Where do I see our company five years from now? Whew. I don't know how to answer that. I feel like we are gonna blast off and... We'll probably have, you know, an office on Mars. Uh, we're gonna take over the world in five years. <laughs> probably world domination or close to it, you know? Get that going. <laughs> it's a moon base. It's not, it's a moon base. That's where we're gonna be. So some people are, you know, close to right, some people are, are, are in the right direction, but yeah, we're gonna be on a moon base. 10 year plan Mars, five year plan moon base. I don't think there's anyone up there protecting the moon. <laughs> Why do they all wanna to go to the moon? I'm so confused. I just take uh, any portion of the moon you wish if, if, with enough investment to get there. And more importantly, we're gonna be doing the same things that we've been doing with Brawlhalla from the very beginning, which is listening to the community, building on it year after year. Each year gets better and bigger and better than the year before that. And we're gonna be doing that same thing as long as the community is there and, and 
enjoying Brawlhalla and along with us on this crazy ride, it's just going to get better and better. Uh, we're always going to be patching the game, making it bigger and better. We have no plans of stopping. Community is the, the lifeblood that, that, that fuels all of us. Until the wheels fall off, we're, we're, we're going to keep, we're going to keep creating, we're going to keep creating, we're going to keep cranking out more, um, you know, it's more things for the community to enjoy. A lot of the things that we're doing now, I couldn't have predicted. <laughs> I, I just want to keep seeing Brahalla thriving. I want it to be the best. I want it to see I want to see it be the best. We've always listened to the community. We've always listened to ourselves. We've always I, 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 I trust our company. I trust the people working here. Everybody is passionate enough. Um, you know, we will we always kind of learn things the hard way, but we always end up where we need to be and we always get the job done. And I have no doubt in my mind that we won't, we won't continue on to bigger and better and greater things. Uh, what those things are, I have no idea, but I will certainly be around to find out. I see, I see in five years, I, I imagine we will uh, just be that much closer to being like a generational game, you know? I want to be able to take this game that I love and be able to continue to share it with the people that I care about for many, many, many years and on. We want Brahalla to be the game that people come back to over and over again because they remember so fondly. Something that maybe you used to play it and now five years have passed and you're a little bit older and you can share this game that you love, that you have this nostalgic feeling for, for someone maybe a little bit younger. I, yeah, I see our, all, all our ideas being um, that much more cemented into gaming culture. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I, I want and hope that Brahalla will be still thriving, of course, but, but be living in the hearts and minds of its players. It's hard to know where to start thanking people because it has been extraordinary. All of us here at BMG, we want to just thank you. You, the people who are watching at home, who are playing Brawlhalla, who are supporting us, who are sharing and spreading Brawlhalla and all that stuff. Thank you. Yo, look at Remy. Look at Boomy. LDZ. What the heck? Yo. Thank you to the Brawlhalla community. Uh, this is a crazy ride that we've gotten to be on together and that is not stopping anytime soon. And none of it would happen if it weren't for you. Thank you to all of our fans, everyone who's worked with us in esports, all my colleagues and coworkers. Yes, to everyone who's tried the game, who's everybody who's taking the time to leave a review, even the negative reviews, they help, they're great. To everyone who's taken the time, Lord, if you bought a skin, thank you. Big thanks to the Brawlhalla Twitch community. Um, it's one of the places that I think we've had so much good interaction with and has really been a part of us growing from the very beginning to where we are now. It's an easy thing to say thank you to the players because it's so true. We do thank you, especially the ones that were here early. The, the players that were doing things with the game that I didn't think were possible, that blew my mind, that made me realize we made something special. We wouldn't be here without y'all today, so thank you so, so much for supporting us and for continuing to support us. We appreciate every single one of y'all so much. Because I really do want to thank all the all the fan artists who um, make fan art. Just the fact that people are inspired to draw because of something we make is honestly the most fulfilling part of my entire life. I thank Matt and Becky Woomer who opened their home and made it not just the home for their family, but also the home for the birthplace of all. And that was very generous and very special. Thank you to everybody who's helped make Brahalla a success. It means the world. Yeah, uh, five more years. <laughs> oh my God. 
Honestly, I just want to see what, what, what ends up happening. We can't wait for y'all to just continue along with us through this journey that we're on. So thank you everyone at home for watching, for supporting us, and look forward to more incredible things for Brahalla and BMG. Thanks everyone. Wow. That's that's honestly so like it's so emotional because like being a player for so long like it, it touches my heart you know it's just like wow the, the emotion behind that because i've been playing for so long as well I've been, I've been playing almost as long as this game has been out honestly where do i see bahala in five years i honestly see bahala being the number one platform fighter in the world in five years and that's genuine i think bahala's growth is just gonna go like that it's gonna go mainstream it's gonna explode it's gonna take over the world i don't know about mars but it's definitely gonna take over the world all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you enjoy this little reaction if you want to go check out the brahala youtube channel i'll link it down in the description and uh to five more years of brahala like that guy said peace out